Okay, guys, so here we are, uh, Zero Morph here. Uh, it's been about a week and a half since I've uh, had a chance to put out any episodes. Uh, I apologize for that. I uh, got sick on Labor Day, uh, which is a holiday in the U.S. for all of you non-United States uh, watchers here. Um, I was sick on Labor Day. I, I had a nasty sore throat. Uh, which later on turned into like a upper, like uh, like respiratory and like all this different crazy snot and stuff. You can probably hear it in my voice right now. It sounds a little, a little bit muffled, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's why I haven't put out anything in the last week and a half. I apologize. I really, really missed you guys. Um, I will try my very best to not go to. Uh, uh, to, to stay away in the future, uh, but uh, being sick, there's not much I can do about that. Um, anyways, uh, so on top of that, uh, I live in the uh, state of North Carolina in the United States. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but uh, we have a hurricane coming. Uh, today's Thursday. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon, and uh, Hurricane Florence, which I'm, you know, if you're in the United States, it's it's been all over the news. If you're not from the United States, like in Europe, I don't know how much uh, coverage has been really uh, brought to you about Hurricane Florence. But uh, my house is right in the path of the hurricane, and as I'm looking out the window, uh, the sky is getting very dark. Uh, it looks like a lot of rain clouds are coming and I somehow have to record this episode and then get outside and mow my yard uh, before the grass gets too long because <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to mow my yard uh, for the next uh, you know, half week, week, something like that. I don't know. This is my first hurricane. So, uh, you know, I, I, I used to live in the middle of the United States, what we call the Midwest. Uh, and we had tornadoes, but we never had a hurricane. So uh, I'm new to this area and uh, I don't exactly know what to expect with the hurricane. I have my flashlight though, and I got my food and my wife went out and got a bunch of water and a bunch of like uh, LED lights and, and, and snacks and food just in case we lose power. And I really hope I can get this video uploaded to YouTube before our uh, power goes out. So anyways, uh, please pray for us um, about, uh, you know, that we make it through the hurricane without really too much damage, no, no broken windows and flooding. Um, okay, let's see here. So in my sickness, I had the opportunity to do nothing but sit around and be sick. So I used that opportunity to play lots and lots of the final nights. Um, I started a new character, um, I started a Samedi character and uh, have actually made it all the way to Hollywood. No, no, I'm sorry, to Chinatown with this Samedi. And I've found quite a few bugs uh, along the way that I was able to fix. Well, not not a lot of bugs, but more like uh, minor annoyances. Um, but uh, fortunately, in my absence, I have been working on the final nights this entire time while I've been sick. So um, this time has not just been thrown away. You know, I, I've I've actually been pretty efficient with my time. Um, and I've been able to fix a bunch of bugs, uh, which I'll talk about here in a second. Uh, but one of the big things I got to do is I got to add some new content to the final nights while I was sick. Since I couldn't make videos for you guys, I was like, well, let's let's actually start modding. So I got all the clan uh, discipline icons completely done. They're all now in a brushed aluminum. They look fantastic. Um, I love the Obeya um, icon. I don't know. There's just something about it that just looks good. Uh, so I'm really excited to release that to you guys. Um, another thing that I did, though, uh, which I have to give major credit to the... Uh, Oh gosh, what is his name? DD Lulu, I think is how you would say his name. Um, Dan, I think it's Dan Upright is his real name. Uh, but he and Wesp, well, he's the one who actually created the character sheet animation program, but I didn't know where to find it. I didn't even know such a thing existed until I uh, sent a shout out out to my buddies, uh, Malcolm or I'm sorry, uh, Mal Ch Child of Malcav. And then I also sent the same message to Wesp and both of them replied, but Wesp uh, 
replied a little bit faster and uh, showed me how I could change the character sheet animation. So a huge shout out, a big thank you to both of you guys and, and to Child of Malka for also responding. Uh, but I was able to change the character sheet animations for every single character in the game. So uh, I went ahead and did that and tried to give more appropriate clan. So I'm going to show you guys or or more more appropriate uh, stances. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. Um, check this out. Okay, so this used to be the Gangro model, but he's now an Asimite, so it didn't make any sense that he's crouched down. So uh, this dude right here, the male Asimite character, is no longer crouching. Instead, he looks like he's just ready to tear something up, man. He's an Asimite Vizier. He's standing up like an Asimite Vizier would. This is the Tremere. Um, this is the Tremere character sheet animation. I love it. He looks awesome now. You can actually see that there is a cool ninja on the front of his shirt. You can see that now. You can see the back. I love how he's standing up right now. It looks so much better. He doesn't look like a gangrel anymore. He actually looks like a Asimite Vizier in the uh, character sheet. So uh, now we have the uh, female Asimite. Uh, before she was standing with her arms uh, crossed and I've now um, applied this new animation which where it has her fists on her hips here or I guess on her waist a little bit but I think it just looks a little more appropriate to an Asimite Vizier um, I really like it it's something new something cool um, I'm totally digging it I hope you guys dig it too so here's the new Bali this is the Bali female um, now the Bali are a very seductive uh, clan uh, the Bali are like tempters they're they're always trying to corrupt people and tempt them so they 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 try to be kind of uh kind of suave you know very very elusive uh clan um and and i think this animation just looks fantastic this is the i believe the female toreador animation but i think she just looks so cool like this um, Bali are not bookworms like the Tremere are. Uh, they are actually more of your like Toreador kind of clan, but but very very uh, very evil. Here's the male version. Uh, this is the male Bali. He looks so much better where he's not in this aggressive pose, but this is the uh, male Toreador pose. Again, looking very very seductive he looks like you know hey you know i'd like to make a deal with you or you know kind of thing um so i just love the way this looks uh this looks a lot more appropriate to a bali character um absolutely love it the followers of set now typically the followers of set are also seductive uh but these are not the followers of set we are playing as the uh warriors of set they are horned vipers they are, uh, they are not the regular. These are the enforcers, which is why they have uh, potence instead of obfuscate. So um, this is the, um, these guys, the warriors of Set and the Ocebo um, are the two kind of physical melee or, or unarmed kind of, you know, brutes. They, they, they both have potence. So this is a lot more of an appropriate stance. This is the Tremere aggressive stance. I think this looks awesome because, I mean, this dude looks like he's ready to just knock you out. Um, and that's what the Warriors of Set are all about. I love it. Uh, this is the female Warriors of Set. You know, um, this is this is the, uh, the Bruja female uh stance um which which also i believe the asimite females are also using but this is a lot more of an aggressive stance she also looks like a warrior of set absolutely love it think it's cool uh a lot more appropriate to the clan okay for the ishtari uh the ishtari and the toreador are uh i guess in the same bloodline category so their blood is similar uh so i really didn't have to change the animations for these guys because they're already perfect they're they're completely sweet i love them uh so let's move on to the ocebo the ocebo now the male bruja animation was horrible he looked like 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 a retarded guy bending over like he his hands or his arms were dangling 
and he looked like he was trying to take a dump or something. I absolutely hate that animation, so I gave him a lot more of an appropriate... This is the male Sedite uh, animation, and now he just looks awesome. He looks like he's ready about to freaking just punch a hole through your face. I absolutely love this new animation. He doesn't look like a weirdo, just like bending over like there's something wrong with him. Uh, I absolutely love this. This looks so cool. Makes me want to play in Ocebo now just, just because of this animation. So this is super cool. Uh, the female also, I mean, you just can't get rid of those arms crossed and just that, that, I mean, she looks like she's just ready to just do something. Man, this looks awesome. She looks so good now. Um, so I'm really excited with these animations as well. Now, something to keep in mind, guys. Uh, you're going to see some repeats in the male animations. Because you have to remember that there's seven male characters. So there's seven different animations. But three of those animations I can't use. Um, I can't use the Gangro one because he's crouched. I can't use the uh, Nosferatu animation because again he's crouched and none of these clans would be appropriate for a Nosferatu stance uh, and, and, and the male Bruja is so stupid that I don't want to use it so I'm essentially uh, dishing out four different male animations to seven characters so you're going to see some repeating so I, I apologize for that but there's not much I can do so if you're kind of like complaining as you're watching this right now going oh why why does he keep using the same animations for the males well that's why because I only have four instead of seven so okay uh, let's move on to the salubri the salubri animation looks so much better before he was like hunched over and he's like you know uh, and and I really like this. This looks so much better. And I don't know if you guys uh, noticed or not, but I gave, I, I actually reskinned the male Salubri while I was sick. Um, he now has a full beard. This is an actual real beard that I found on uh, Google Images. Um, it's a PNG file, uh, which means I got just the beard and I did an overlay in Photoshop giving him the real beard. I'll show you guys the actual reskin uh, here in a moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, his beard looks awesome. It's an actual real man's beard applied through uh, Photoshop onto his face. So he looks awesome. I love this. Uh, here's the female animation for the salubri uh, i didn't like her animation before she just looks awesome now she's got her uh, she has her uh hands back and everything i think this is uh i believe this is the tremere female stance which is like a more inquisitive kind of a smart girl kind of stance and that's what i wanted for her before she looked really seductive and salubri aren't are not seductive they're they're not a seductive clan um, and uh, they're more of an intelligent clan um, so that's why I gave her this stance I think it just looks freaking cool okay uh, the last one you guys are gonna love this because now a Semedi actually looks like a Semedi uh, as you can see his Nosferatu hunched over look is now gone he now has the male Malkavian stance, which I absolutely love the stance. And now you can see he actually has the ribs showing. You can actually see this so much better uh, than you could before. And he looks nothing like a Nosferatu like he did before. Um, so I love, you know, anything that I can do to make the Semedi appear less like a Nosferatu and more like a Semedi, man, I'm all for it. So as you can see, I got rid of the the uh, long claws. I got rid of the pointy ears. His ear is no longer pointy. Uh, I just took this ear completely off in uh, Blender. And he just looks freaking awesome standing upright. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Okay, let me show you guys the uh, male Salubri 3 skin. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to transition over to that. Okay, guys, so here we are uh, with the male Salubri. Let me go ahead and zoom in here so that you can see this dude's beard. It just looks freaking awesome. You can see the scar on his head. He now has a full-length beard that just looks awesome. Here's a side shot uh, of his new beard that he just loves. And uh, here's another shot here. I just love this beard. I think it looks awesome. Here's another thing that I did too. I reskinned 
uh, the back of his head. Again, I was very busy while while I was sick. Um, <laughs> there was a real nasty seam that that you could see very clearly between his head, like right right as at, at his neckline. It looked terrible, so I went ahead and reskinned that and blended it. It looks so much better. Uh, I think, I mean, you can barely see the seam now. Um, I just think it looks fantastic. So he's got the beard. He's got a seamless neck. You don't have to look at that anymore. He just looks freaking cool as heck. Um, and I also, um, I couldn't believe how terrible I made the uh, heavy leather and the body armor skin, the one with the long jacket. Um, it looks stupid. I couldn't believe how lazy I got, you know, well, then again, this was, this was like five, six years ago that I skinned this and I've learned a lot since then, but, um, I couldn't believe how, how crappy it looked. Um, all I did was more or less take the, uh, the white fuzzy jacket and, and, and I gave it a really stupid, you know, skin. So I actually spent probably three to four hours skinning this. Uh, a couple days ago and I just think it looks so much better than the one that I had so this is going to be the new uh, body armor slash heavy leather skin it's now a long like uh, coat here and I, I as you can see I have specular lighting with it um, it has re uh, the uh, the Asian dragons have a reflective uh, light on it, which I think looks awesome. Now the blue jacket does not give a reflection. It's only the dragons. So I did that with a uh, bump map, uh, mapping in Photoshop. I just think it looks awesome. There's, uh, as, as you can see kind of a zoomed in, there's this thing around his neck, this big puffy blue furry. That's actually animal fur. I used a wolf fur skin for that. Um, and then I love the shirt so much. Uh, in the second armor set uh, that I decided to go ahead and give him that shirt again and I gave the same reflective stop stop turning I can't see it he keeps looking around and turning uh, but you can see the uh, the the Chinese characters have a uh, reflective glow to them um, I also gave him a shirt so he's no longer bare chested here's what it looks like in the character sheet um, I gave him pants, I gave him a belt, I gave him new kind of shiny reflective black pants with the black jacket, um, and I painted his uh, shoes blue, but this is going to be the new armor, I hope you guys like it. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube or not, but can you see those white dragon icons? Uh, can you see that they're reflective? They look so freaking cool, I can't wait till you guys download this and play as a salubri. Um, it just, oh, I love this skin. I think it looks sick. Um, I also did, um, I also double, doubled the uh, texture size. So this is actually uh, a 2048 by 1024. So there, the, the amount of detail in this dude's jacket is so much better than it was before. Um, it's not blurry. It's a lot more crisp. And it just looks so freaking cool in the high definition skin. So anyways, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like uh, the new direction I'm taking this, you know, fixing some errors and doing all that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and uh, oh, 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 before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys that while I was playing as my character, my Samedi, um, I found out that the Fang of Vukudlak, I think is how you say his name, that's the uh, item that you can get from uh, Maximilian Strauss to make your fist do lethal damage instead of uh, instead of uh, bashing damage. Uh, well, that was missing in the Ash Sewer, so that was actually a bug uh, that I fixed. And then I also reskinned the Fist of Vukudlak because there was a bug uh, with the, uh, what was it? the icon the uh, fist icon up here was also uh displaying improperly so i reskinned that it looks a lot better now it looks perfect 
And then there was also a bug with the Vandal operation where it, it, if you followed a certain dialogue, it would say, I do not have a valid reply. And so I fixed that as well. So all these bug fixes are going to be included in TFN 1.5 HD. I'm really excited. Um, I love playing the game, finding bugs, fixing it, and then releasing it. It's really fun. So let's uh, go ahead and load up Sparrow McRae. And uh, we I'll see you guys over there. Okay, guys, so we are now back with uh, Sparrow McRae. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll, let's see. We we just finished uh, the uh, sibling rivalry, which we did not have a chance to uh, convince them. Um, I, I, I managed to talk Therese uh, into killing Jeanette unintentionally, of course. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but, uh, that's the way the ball bounces, I guess. Um, let's see here. So what do we have left to do? I believe we need to do the oil. Uh, oh no, no, no. I don't know why I keep saying oil rig for some reason. Uh, we need to go to the train yard and, uh, explosive beginnings and do that quest. So, uh, obviously quicken or not, not quicken the blood. Uh, silence of death is going to be an important role in that um let's see here christina romuald who left a comment in episode six asked me if i'm gonna save heather and to be honest with you christina i completely forgot to do that <laughs> so i really appreciate you uh leaving a comment about that otherwise i might have accidentally done the quest and then lost heather forever uh so thank you for reminding me uh to do that so let's do that before we do anything else um let's take a look at her Let's see here, not her info sheet, her character sheet here. We have 10 experience and I, I kind of looked over this. Now I have to tell you guys something. I have reduced the overall experience even more while I was sick. And maybe it was because I was sick and I wasn't thinking properly. I was delusional or something, but I actually went through the entire character uh, experience uh, thing and I drastically reduced it even more and that's what I used to play my Semedi on and I'll tell you guys TFN 1.5 HD is going to be hard it's just going to be freaking hard especially as a Semedi because you can't be seen by anybody in fact I have four masquerade violations right now and everywhere I go there's a freaking hunter waiting for that character uh, it is freaking hard because you just don't have the over excessive amount of experience in 1.5 that you're used to having in 1.4 and prior versions. Uh, TFN is going to be, or 1.5 HD is going to be really, really tough. Um, it is so much more fun though. It is so much more like Skyrim Requiem where it is just unforgiving and you have to do so much more with so much less. And I love that. Um, in fact, getting something, getting anything to level 10 in TFN 1.5 is going to be a challenge. I mean, honestly, um, you might be able to get one of your disciplines all the way to five, but that's probably it. You're not going to have the experience to to really, I mean, your character sheet is going to go, look so much more empty at the end of the game in 1.5 than it, than it ever has before. So I'm really excited about it. I made this change halfway through Sparrow's playthrough. So Sparrow's going to have a little bit of extra experience compared to what you guys are going to see in the official 1.5 release. Um, she shouldn't have this much experience. In fact, probably about 10 uh, of this experience should be not here right now. Um, but uh, I'm going to continue with this playthrough. I'm not going to start over just because of that. Uh, so, but anyways, okay. So I was looking at my character sheet here and with this extra experience that I have that you're not going to have in the official release, I'm thinking about dumping it into Quidus, uh, quicken the blood. I think it's an awesome, awesome, very, very helpful, uh, discipline considering I don't have seduction and I don't plan on putting any points into seduction. Uh, so it's making feeding kind of tough especially uh, later in the game. So I'm thinking about putting this into, uh, putting six experience into Quicken the Blood. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's see here. So now I have Silence of Death and Quicken the Blood. This is gonna be really, really helpful uh, when there's two people. Um, 
standing close to each other but not looking at each other i can make one of them pass out and then i can feed on the other one and then and then, then i can feed on the second one uh let's see here well i don't know if i'll be able to do that actually because this watching someone bleed oh this is a oh no i can't use that around other people otherwise that'll be a it must be used with discretion in safe areas never mind okay well it'll still be useful i still like it i got it hot keyed now i got all specs and quick in the blood both hot keyed so uh let's go ahead and uh go to the santa monica clinic and let's go make ourselves a ghoul i'll see you guys there Okay, guys, so we're at the medical clinic now. It is so weird being able to run around uh, completely visible. <laughs> I'm so used to playing as a Semeti. Um, okay. Uh, I really don't have time for this. Actually, no. I'll go find a doctor. You know, I'm trying to make Sparrow not so evil. She's at five humanity right now. I was planning on her being a good character. Told you. But I it didn't turn out that way. Please take a seat. But there's this girl over there. I think she's gonna die. See here now. I'm the only physician here at the moment. Yada yada yada. Whatever. But man in there with a bullet in his head. Ah. Page, Dr. Roberts, bullet in his head. That's nothing. Okie dokie then. I'll just have to take matters into my own hands. Uh, 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 she's like completely covered in blood. Here, drink this and live. There used to be a bug where her neck was all stretched out, and that bug was fixed. Oh, that looks so cool. I love her skin. The the Asamite Reese skin. It looks so good. Humanity gain. Nice. Even though, I mean, I saved her life, but I also enslaved her. I don't know how much... <laughs> humanity she should be receiving for that but i get did get one experience that's cool uh you all right you, who who are you um sparrow mccray i'm a computer hacker vampire i simply wanted to help but you did something i i kissed your wrist you didn't kiss it baby you did a lot more than that uh look forget about this don't say anything you'll be fine you I feel like I know you. Uh, we don't know each other. Now, if I say I'm a vampire, I'm pretty sure I'll get a masquerade violation, but I'm not sure, and I don't really want to test it. Okay, uh, I got to go. Um, it was nice talk to you. I'm sure I'll see you again. Okay, so I need some blood. And as something Compass said, Malcolm, Dr. Malcolm is always ready to give. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I Did I blackmail him? I think I already blackmailed him. Let's see. You saved the girl. Okay. Is that a quest? Maybe it's not even a quest. I'm looking for it in here to see if I already blackmailed him. You know what? I think I did. So I'll just feed on him. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about Dr. Malcolm being a great source of blood until something compass uh, said something to me. He's like, uh, why aren't you going to Dr. Malcolm? Uh, yeah, I completely forgot about that guy. Now, he leaves after I get to Hollywood. So when I come back to Santa Monica, he's not going to be there. The blue blood uh, down here with the car, he's not going to be there. So you're going to lose some some blood uh, opportunities for very, very easy blood. So that's something to keep in mind, which is why Quicken the Blood should hopefully come in handy, I hope. So we got Bertram down here. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. He's pretty cool. Look who finally made Oh, it. check out the Not new uh, the new the teeth. Digits, sweetheart. The the new high definition teeth for the Nosferatu look so cool. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweet? You know what I was looking I've gotten for you? good at knowing when I'm wanted. Oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. The okay. one and only. Don't bother with me. So you're Bertram. Fledgling. Gotcha. Look how cool those freaking eyes look. Oh, they look so good. Love it. Um, you do? News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. New teeth, new eyes. These guys are looking good. Rodriguez is a juice. That's great. So you know I survived? 
Oh, you did, did you? Yes, I well, did. I wasn't worried. Okay. I need to get into that warehouse hmm? for Mercurio. Oh, never mind. The warehouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans. Um, right. Uh, but you can just get me inside, or you can get me inside, right? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling pretty ready. Let's do this thing. <clears throat> All right, I guess. What? Come back when you're oh, ready. Oh, no, I go. hit the wrong one. But Sorry about that. Whatever, see ya. You ready to go? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Let's do this thing. Okay. So I know that in TFN you will get extra experience, even with the uh, new new experience uh, list. You'll get uh, extra experience if you can get through, or plant if you can plant the explosives uh, without anybody seeing you, which is going to be which is obviously really easy for us and many to do, but not so easy for a Sparrow McCray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get our Silence of Death cued, because I'm going to be using that quite a bit, I have a feeling. <sighs> um, I think there's some stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. So I've got 19 bullets, and then 6 in the chamber with my gun. Now I have 25. Awesome. There is so much ammunition on this uh, in this mission. What's in here? You know, I don't think anything is in there. I don't want to go through that thing. You can go through that, but I don't want to. Okay, now this guy definitely cannot see me, so I'm going to quicken his blood. Nice. See how he just sits there and sweats out blood? Oh, dude, that's so great. Wah! And then when I feed on him, he actually gives me extra blood. Which I'm already full, so you can't see. Oh, wait, why did I do that? Oh, crap. I didn't mean to I'm so used to not killing people. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I hope nobody heard that gunshot. Well, Santa Monica, I'm sure there's a lot of gunshots all over the place. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and there's a box back here that you don't need anything special to see it. Oh, crap. And it's got a shotgun in it. <laughs> That'll be good for uh, resell. You know, may maybe I should keep it as a, a larger kind of weapon. It's not a bad idea. Where am I going? Am I lost? I think I Whoa! Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Let's get my gun out. Okay, well, I guess I'm not. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I could take shots, guys, but you can't. Alright, let's heal up. All specs is so great. Thirty-three freaking damage. Two shots will take down a human, just like Jack said in the tutorial. Love it. Oh, I forgot I have a Glock too, don't I? Okay, now that everyone's heard that, I can see everything. Okay, this guy's running up. I just saw him. No. He's not running. He was running. There he is. Right there. Freeze, motherfucker. Ah. How about you freeze? <laughs> Do I already... Oh, yeah. I must, I must already have this stuff. Okay, so I have a tire iron. And I have a knife. Smith & Wesson. And I got my Glock. I got all that stuff. Okay. There should be a guy over here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. All right, I want to feed on this dude. Let's quicken his blood. Oh, yeah. So, so, oh, man, did you see that blood meter? It just skyrocketed. Ah. 
I love Quidus. It's so good. Okay. Let's just kind of hang out over here. Nice and quiet. I know there's like a ton of dudes over here. Yeah, there they are. There they are. Extra aspects here. Quicken the blood. All right. If any of them come over to me, I can use quicken the blood on them so they don't rush me. Man, I'm getting smoked over here. Ah, the accuracy. I need something a little more accurate. All right. There we go. That's a much smaller reticle. Reticle. I was gonna say that. Ah. That's one way to do it, just shoot the uh, freaking barrels. And this gun is so weak compared to that 38. Uh, okay, I need some more of that. It is so much more accurate. Oh, man. Man, right in the freaking head. That was awesome. Oh, crap. I didn't see him. <laughs> crap! Okay, uh, I'm going to get out this guy. Let's reload. I hope he doesn't rush me. Why was he just standing there like an idiot? Well, that was easy. Man, look at all this freaking ammo. Oh, this is fantastic. There's so much ammo out here. Uh, I thought these boxes were ammo boxes. I guess they're not. Come on, jump that. Come on. I know you can. I know you can. Come on, Sparrow. You can jump over anything. Okay, this guy saw me. Okay, I'm just going to dump a bunch. How much is... Okay, is my Auspex 75 seconds per activation? That is so freaking long. I love it. <laughs> Kaboom. Oh, this guy's just like standing there. He wants to give me his blood. Hey, where'd they go? Watch this. Watch how much blood fills up. When I get this dude. Yum yum. Look at that. Bam. It just. Oh man. It just. I love quick in the blood man. There's no way this guy would have filled up my bar. Had I not had quick in the blood turned on. That is such a nice discipline. This dude's just chilling. I want to get all specs. Like. I'm just going to keep dumping. Uh. Yum yum. Watch that. Whoop! <laughs> That's so cool. And I can dump all of that into all specs to keep it running forever. I love it. Oh crap. Where are you, dude? Go ahead and reload. Okay, I already checked all of these. Let's get the ammo for this gun. I need to stop putting that away. Okay. I don't know why I keep putting that away. I'm just so used to doing that. Okay, so we got that. Now, I know I'm going to have to fight a couple of uh, anti-tribute. Or no, 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 no. It won't be anti- or it's going to be one anti-tribute. It's going to be a Toreador anti-tribute that I have to fight. And I think a Gangrel as well. Oh, man. That's a lot of dudes. What is that? 
I thought I saw like a, a flash of light or something. Man, that hurts. I'm gonna have to do something about my bashing. What is my bashing? It's two. Okay, it's not very good against guns. I'm getting messed up pretty bad here. Thank you for running at me, dude. Because my aim isn't so good with this. Okay, can I quicken this, dude? Nice. Gotcha. Fill me up, baby. Fill me up. Look at that, man. I got to use a, a couple blood hills, heals, and then a couple more uh, off specs. I love quick in the blood. Man, it's so good. Okay. Uh, let's get some more ammo. Man, I got like 42 rounds. This is great. Okay, so this door, I think, leads... Yeah, that leads back to the other room. I've already been in there. So much for being stealthy. One nice thing is I, you know, with Auspex, I can see in these rooms to see if they're... Oh, jeez. Man. Okay, this dude's facing the other way, so I can't... Uh, come on. Oh, you suck. Maybe if I keep hitting you with the door, you'll eventually move. Come out. <laughs> Bam. Nice. I think my auspex is going to last forever now. <laughs> I've, I've like pressed it like 20 times. I got to have like 10 minutes on the timer by now. Okay, now the timer is going to start once I set this up. So I don't want to start it until I'm ready. Now in TFN 1.5, or no, I'm sorry, in just TFN in general, uh, one of the earlier versions, I increased the timer, which I thought was nice. So you don't have to rush out so fast. You can, because cause there's some places to go. There's some rooms and stuff that are pretty sweet, that are full of ammo and stuff. They had to be really, really quick. Plus, plus I added harder fights. There's going to be a Toridor anti-tribute coming through this door here in a second. There he is. Ah! Man, screw you and your freaking shotgun. Oh my gosh, I only did like four damage to him. And quick in the blood's not gonna work on this dude. Now he doesn't have celerity, but he obviously has presence. And he has uh, all specs, so he can see me too. Uh, okay. I got you, dude. I got you. You're almost dead. And obviously, he doesn't have blood heal. Because <laughs> he's, he's not healing up. Nice. Beautiful. Alright, so that's why I also increased the timer so that you actually have time to fight these guys. Because it, was, it wasn't very fair to have to fight them. And then I don't give you the time to do it. <laughs> But I still don't want to dilly dally too much. Okay. So if I can get into this room, there's a ton of goodies in here. Tons and tons of goodies. Um, failed lock pick of six. I have a lock picking of four. Um, plus blood buff is five. So, you know, I. I probably should increase my lock picking. That would cost eight. That would cost eight. Never mind. I can't. All right. Goodbye, ammo. I don't get to have you.
<laughs> okay. I don't see anybody behind this door. I know there should be a guy up there. Um, nope, there's no guy up there. All right. Now, I think that there's going to be a... Oh, there. here we go. There's a dude right there. He's actually inside this thing, but I can't get out there. Now, I'm pretty sure a Gangrel anti-tribute is going to be coming out behind me. See, it's good to know these things. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get the shotgun. Yep, there he is. Ah! Screw you and your fortitude. Nice. Ah! There we go. Well, that was a nice little surprise. My gosh, that takes forever to <laughs> reload. <laughs> that thing took for freaking ever. Alright, let's switch back to my... There should be a dude up in here, unless that was the guy. Yep, that was that was clearly the guy. Okay, so three minutes. I have plenty of time. Um, what's in here? Any ammo or anything? What's this? Ah! Nice, dude. I'll take it. Okay, that's locked. Can I go around? Looks like I can. Awesome. There shouldn't be anyone left alive. I literally, I killed two kindred, two anti-tribute, uh, and a bunch of humans. I think I did pretty good. Nice. I don't think there's anything else out here. And I have like 20 minutes left on my auspects. <laughs> That's awesome. I love auspects. I think auspects might be one of my absolute favorite disciplines after I overhauled it. The uh, the vanilla bloodlines... Oh, the reason I'm standing here is because I'm healing. So I'm going to talk to you guys. Um, the vanilla bloodlines auspects, honestly, it, it, it sucked. It was one of those disciplines that you just didn't use because it sucked. Um, but the overhauled, with all the new systems in TFN, uh, presence and auspects, which used to be the two most worthless um, disciplines, are now like some of the best. <laughs> oh! Also, I reskinned uh, Beckett's wolf form. He is no longer a white and blue, silly, ridiculous looking wolf. Now, he is a brown and black with red eyes wolf, which I'm about to show you. Check this out. Oh, he looks so freaking good. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, he's all brown and black. He looks awesome. The warehouse. Your handiwork. I presume? Uh, yes it was. Check out his eyes, too. His new freaking red gangrel eyes of the beast eyes. Oh, they look so freaking good. Love it. Uh, what the... Are you a werewolf? <laughs> not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? Uh, no, For I'm not. I'm kind of new to this. Uh, who are you and why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. Dude, my his eyes and his teeth look so good. I haven't been following and that you. And new wolf form looks so awesome. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same. Tell me, have you by chance seen uh, or felt anything? Let's see here. Nope, didn't see anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like oh, pleasure okay. meeting, pleasure your meeting you, you too, but buddy. You too. Uh, night, Beckett. All right. So that concludes the uh, mission for the warehouse. We're done there, and now we get to talk to this guy, and then we're going to be heading to Los Angeles downtown. Oh, this is this is cool. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news too. <laughs> Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? Uh, I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Be 
Beckett is a historian of sorts. Um, okay. Hey, Bertram, I got some serious questions for you. I met your ghoul, Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I yeah. watched him work for a while before I approached him. Oh, okay. You knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through or join. Ah, okay. Uh, but he needed my help. I killed an Asian vampire who was stalking him. No. You helped me remove a spy without revealing myself uh, or getting my hands dirty. Pretty good actor, that Knox. Now, I don't uh, know if you guys know, but uh, Knox used to be a bounty hunter for Arthur Kilpatrick um, until he was ghouled by Bertram. How do I know that? Because there is a very hard-to-find line by Arthur Kilpatrick. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever... Uh, dig dig down enough uh, dig dig deep enough down into his dialogue but he actually talks about uh, Knox being his old uh, bounty hunter which I think is a cool little Easter egg that Troika did uh, well played Bertram don't well take played. it hard cupcake I won't be the last elder to milk you for a favor <laughs> okay so the rest of the dialogue is uh, you don't need it to really advance the storyline, but it's, you know, if you've never actually talked to Bertram and listened to everything he says, I highly recommend it because he's got some really cool dialogue um, and then information about the seven clans, which is really cool. So I'm going to say I'm out of here. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save it here, guys. Uh, this is going to wrap up episode seven. We're going to start out... Uh, in downtown LA for episode 8 and uh, I hope you guys like the new changes uh, that I made while I was sick and uh, again pray for me for the hurricane uh, leave a comment talk to me um, and I will mention you by name uh, if you guys leave a cool comment so um, I look forward to uh, episode 8 Zero Morph out